today is an important day, I think, to all of us journalists and anybody who likes this profession, because it's Wednesday, the 2nd of November 2016, and it's the International Day to End Impunity for Crimes Against Journalism and Journalists. Javier Espinoza is a longtime veteran war correspondent working for the Spanish newspaper El Mundo. In September 2013, he was abducted by ISIS. He was liberated after 194 days. I'm still willing to go. I think we have the duty to go to report about the suffering of the civilian. This is a major duty of the journalists to report that. I don't believe that you can change the world anymore. That's a long time ago. That's I how you started <laughs> out. I lost my, uh, yes. <laughs> my hope. But at least you have to give these five minutes to the civilian to tell you how is he suffering and to think that he's important, that somebody's taking care of his suffering. What can we do in the Netherlands, the press, to support our colleagues in Turkey? You must, you know, come to Turkey. Uh, you must monitor their cases. You must uh, visit the journalists in jail. You must spare some place in your papers for their articles, maybe. Thanks to this solidarity, we can survive. It is not cool to kill journalists, and it is unacceptable that there's no justice in their cases. We need to not only conduct litigation, but we need to have an advocacy campaign. We need media coverage. We need uh, training of judges, uh, police uh, officers, officials, etc., etc. I must say, this summer I remembered it very well because I was on the spot where Stan died and I talked to people and some could still remember it but other ones were like and I really realized that for the Georgian history it was just a footnote but for us for RTL News uh, it was the blackest day day of our lives. If you have done uh, good work in a war zone and you've, you have achieved what you wanted to achieve and you feel at home there uh, in a way uh, then, then it's probably the place that you should go back to. Yes. It's, it's, it's your work, it's your job. What touches me most is, uh, is the courage these people have. Very good. Uh, to go to the places where they go and report, and uh, uh, risking uh, the most uh, precious thing they have, which is our life. I can hear drums. Yeah. Shall I uh, say the famous say. sentence? Yes, please. And the winner is? Klaas van Dijken in Reportage in Tarfoer. According to the jury, Von Daken shows courage and perseverance to draw the stories of the victims. And he gives the displaced a voice. Well, I'm, I'm very honored with this award, but it's never about me. Um, it's about the people in, in Sudan, in Darfur. It's about the civilians in, in other wars. Shayo Shoyombo. Please indulge me. I studied animal science. I should be on the farm tending to animals. <laughs> <laughs> but when I decided to be a journalist, a certain editor rejected me. A second one gave me a chance. So I will never pick up any award without mentioning the name German Anikulapo. He gave me a chance to be a journalist. This year's Silent Journalist Award goes to Hamid Mir. Let's continue our fight against impunity. And in the end, I must say, long live Pakistan, Pakistan, Zindabad. And I'm calling, although there are many efforts going on, I'm calling for an international trust fund to be created to fix this, this black hole for these local journalists. My name is Rabin Baldev Singh. I'm deputy, deputy mayor of this beautiful city, the city, the international city of peace and justice. And indeed, I, not only today, but also in the years to come, stand for journalists and for justice. Thank you very much indeed. Killing journalists is a war crime. We need international prosecution. My name is Leon Willems, and I stand up for Journalist and Justice.
My name is Kees van Baar and I'm the Netherlands Human Rights Ambassador and I stand up for journalists and justice. My name is Ruth Kronenburg and I stand up for journalists and justice and I hope after today you will too.